Hey, hey guys, John here and welcome back, welcome back. So today we're continuing our look at Voltron, Defender of the Universe. Today we have the Doom Blaster. Da, da, da. With some of the bad guys, the, the bad guys that we can get with this thing. So we have the driver for the skull, uh, the skull tank, but I don't own the skull tank. So we're going to show off this driver. It's right here. We've, we've army built these. We've got two of each. And then we have the doom commander. So these are, uh, the figures you could get to, to build an army with, if you wanted an army of bad guys to go up against your Voltron figures. So the doom blaster has these little thing discs that can shoot out so we'll see if we can get that to work if i even have the discs i'm not 100 percent sure if they're in this box actually 1984 world events productions made in hong kong the doom blaster with its neutron discs has single-handedly crushed countless planets a string of brilliant victories that has earned its pilot the doom commander many honors from the evil king zargon Doom Commander action figure sold separately, of course. Once in his cockpit, the Doom Commander is ready for battle, ready to spread the tyrannical rule of King Zarkon throughout the universe. The power is in your hands as you fire the Doom Blaster's neutron discs. As with any projectile, these soft, safe discs can't hurt or damage anything. But the Doom Blaster should never be launched in the direction of the face or eyes. <laughs> Don't poke your eyes out. Includes two neutron discs. We'll see if they're actually in there. Doom Blaster blazes a path of fury. The monstrous flying machine that strikes fear wherever it goes. Has Voltron finally met his match? Oh, I don't know. Has he? This box is awesome. Toys R Us, ten ninety seven back in the 80s. $10 for this. Can you believe it? I didn't pay $10 for this. This box is in great shape as far as I'm concerned. I am very, very happy with this. This is the side that was opened, and it is a little damaged here, but, you know, as far as displaying it from the front, look at that. It's beautiful, right? That's where you're going to, that's how I'm going to put it on display. So it doesn't matter to me that it's a little bit damaged. All right, let's get this guy out of here. There's no cardboard on this one. But we'll see. We'll take a look at it. All right. So I pulled everything out of the box. And I do believe if we open the cockpit here. Yeah, there's no foam blasters in here. I don't think they're in it either. No, they're not in there. Yeah, because I, I do believe I remember the guy telling me that they were not... He lost the foam blasters, but kept everything else for some reason. So again, we have a booklet, which is in mint shape. This one's really, really nice. And we went through that in the uh, when we looked at the Zarkon Zapper. So if you didn't see the Zarkon Zapper video yet, go back and watch that. You can take a look at the, at the uh, booklet here. And again, it's a Panache Place booklet. And it says Panache Place on this box where... Some of the other stuff we have says Mattel, and some just says World Events. So this is a World Events Panache Place Mattel production. <laughs> Voltron Doom Blaster. You can open or remove the lid to place the Doom Commander in control. Figure sold separately. Pull back lever until it locks in place. Insert discs into slot in the front. And then final step, pull the trigger to fire the discs. Yeah. Pretty cool. This is pretty white. Pretty good shape for an old uh, instruction dealy. So kind of like that. So let's put this on here and take a look at the vehicle itself. There's fire stickers on it. Beautiful front with this grill with the red freaking fire mohawk going up the thing. We've got fire stickers on the top, on the sides, red and black with some silver, you know, gun things down here. This is awesome. 
You can throw in the discs right here, pull back this lever, pull the trigger, and they shoot out. Now I'm sure I can find the discs pretty good and pretty easily. That's kind of why I grabbed this. The price was right because it was missing the discs. And um, even, even without the discs, I'm happy with this, even if I never get them. This is a beautiful piece. Look at how clear that glass is. Stickers all look great, in my opinion. The box is beautiful. It's got all the inserts. And we can fit a figure in here. So let's pop this open and get one of the guys in there. So here's the driver, the Doom Commander. This one's really stiff. This one's a little bit looser. He's going to sit down and go in there. So he can fit in there. But look at this guy. He's looking, He's like a devil. White eyes, red, black on his belt, two tones of red throughout him. And this one is really stiff. He, I don't think he's ever been moved. Five POA figures, really nice looking characters. I'm, I'm very happy with these guys. I think they look cool. Now, when I was a kid, I'd play with them with my Star Wars and G.I. Joe guys. They would all just be in there. And here's the Skull Commander guy, the Skull Tank Driver. Again, you've got white eyes, cool two-tone gray with some white on his chest armor. Really, really cool. Both of them have a little bit of scuffs on their feet. It's got to be very common in these, but I mean, this one's a little looser than this one, but I mean, this one is so stiff, it almost seems like no one's ever touched him, but yet he still has scuffs on his boots, you know, so it's... Fascinating to me that even the best condition figures can have some minor flaws. Let's put this on here and see how this guy looks in the in the vehicle. Flying around. It's hitting his head. It doesn't want to close. Let's lean him back a little more in the seat. There we go. There we go. Now he's in there. Look at that. Ooh. No window for him to see out of in the front, though. You got to assume these little flares would have been clear in the in the TV show so he could see out. But look at these stickers on the back. They're doing all that readout stuff. So cool. So very cool. A great, very simple vehicle. And if I had the foam pellets, we could knock some guys over and it was cool that the design of the ship built in the handle i mean as an adult you can't really you can only put a couple fingers around it and you gotta do that i guess but as a kid, you know, you, you just grabbed onto this thing and you could just fly around with it. And same with that, the uh, Heart Zarkon Zapper, you know, that the handles were built into the design of the ship, which was really cool. Really neat. Well, guys, there we go. Once again, thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm John, and we've been taking a look at the Doom Blaster from Voltron. This awesome vehicle and the Doom Commander figure. This guy is so cool. I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at this with me. This is a super cool vehicle. Super cool spaceship. Oh, it's just so awesome. So awesome. Voltron, Defender of the Universe. I can't do Peter Cullen's voice, so it's like, it doesn't work. <laughs> Guys, let me know what you think of these vehicles. Were you into the Voltron universe as a kid? Did you enjoy, did you get any of these figures or vehicles? And, uh, you know, were you like us and played with them alongside your Star Wars G.I. Joe Transformers? We mixed everything together. It was like one big universe when we were a kid. <laughs> oh, definitely enjoyable things to have. Thanks a lot for taking a look with me. I'm John, I'm out of here. And I'll talk to you on the next one. We're going to do the coffins for the uh, Robeast next. <laughs>